So, hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Grace Nicole Miss Astrology and Tarot. Uh, for these cards in Divine Timing today, just getting right into it, uh, we've got the Five of Coins and the Seven of Swords both reversed, clarified by the Moon and the King of Fire. We also got Mintaken, clarified by Lemuria. And the Dissolving Light as the Guidance card. All right, now the energies that I got off these cards, and if you caught the video that I did yesterday, I can relate. <laughs> okay, I can relate to these, these energies right now because within 24 hours, the incredible shift, it's, it's kind of unreal. So letting go so that you understand what these cards mean. The moon clarifying the five of coins. The moon represents childhood wounds, okay? It represents our shadow, the things that cut us as young humans here, okay? It's where we feel abandoned with the five of coins. It's where we feel like we're striking out or rolling snake eyes and life is difficult and we're alone in this. That energy in reverse is being released. That wound is essentially healing, okay? It is the release of the, the abandonment wound. It is the release of... Feeling alone, which is only further clarified in the Mintakin card because it literally is about longing for home and belonging. And it morphs into Lemuria, which is literally creating heaven on earth like it's happening. <laughs> That's what the card says. Okay, creating heaven on earth is happening. The release of the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords represents deception, lies, secrets, or energy, thieves, or literal thieves, okay? It's a card that steals your energy and secrets and lies, which is what I was going off about in the video yesterday. The secret that I was keeping, right, that was essentially eating away at my own energy, when you release the lies... Clarifying the king of fire, when you release the lies, your soul is lit. You're in the, the king energy of the suit of fire, and the fire is the suit of spirit. That's your essence. The mastery of your essence, the mastery of your spiritual creative passion energy, the essence of your authenticity the king of fire has a halo of sun rays around his head, his crown. And the mask that is not a mask on his face is that of a phoenix. It's a phoenix. The heart is a light in his chest and in his belly. It's the passion of his soul on fire. A creative fire. And he's very much at peace and he is very wise. He is not bothered by a thing. He's not bothered by a thing. These energies, the release of the abandonment wound the release of feeling like you don't know your purpose, the release of the lies and the deception of the self, allowing it to become present so that it can become past. If you keep it in yourself, it's not, it's never going anywhere. But if you bring it into the present moment, what happens with the present moment? The present moment becomes the past so that a new present moment can take place. You get it out of yourself so it can become your past. I can't tell you the transformation in the energy that I felt within 24 hours. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. They say the truth sets you free. Honey, it sets you on fire. 
king of fire energy. The dissolving light energy. Wait until I read that for you. There is no more longing. Just belonging. It's creating your highest good life in reality. This reading is confirmation of that for you. If you've decided to speak a lie or secret into existence and let it become your past, if you decided to remove it from yourself, feeling like something is lost and looking at the gain of it instead, you integrate. The moon is the feminine. It's ruled Traditionally, it's it's Cancer's planet. Cancer rules the sign of the mother. It is the divine feminine goddess energy within the self. And then you've got this masculine, this king of fire, king of spirit energy. This is the willpower. This is the determination. This is the creative force. It's the epitome of masculine energy. The water and the fire, the yin and the yang, the union of the self, the integration, the union of the self. That's where you're at. You caught this reading, that's where you're at. If you didn't know it, please understand whatever you just did in your life and reality shifted for you for the better. It shifted for the better. The dissolving light. Let me read this to you. Now it starts with a poem and then a channeled message from Rumi and then Alana Fairchild's interpretation of the card. It does have a sacred honoring ritual at the end. If you want to know what that is, you can let me know. I will get it to you some which way, shape, or form. I'm just going to read the description, okay? It's long enough as it is. What, Fig? What? Did you want to be a part of this? Hmm? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he wants on my table so bad and he knows he's not allowed. <laughs> I hope you guys are hearing that. It's fucking cute as hell. Hey, give me a few minutes. I love you. <laughs> okay. So the dissolving light, the poem says, I died as mineral and became a plant. I died as plant and rose to animal. I died as animal and I became human. Why should I fear anything? When was I ever less by dying? Rumi. Dare to take my hand and become set alight with holy fire, my cherished one. Step forward with me. Let us burn together, disassembled in the light that cannot be extinguished. This is the light that burns with such incandescent truth that no falsehood can withstand its audacious vibrancy. Come with me now to the light. Together we shall melt into truth. It says, there is a light so intense, so powerful, that nothing other than itself, its own truth, can exist in its presence. It is the sacred seed, the star of your being lit up from within. It is the light that never goes out. It is the light that is so powerful, it is beyond duality of light and dark cannot ever be extinguished or diminished and quite simply beyond all logic just is. 
Certainly no lie or deception, no boundary or defense can remain intact in its presence. The blazing divinity of this light sears through any pretense, annihilates illusions, and takes us into stark experience of divine truth. It is gentleness, and yet it cannot be overcome. It is enduring power, and yet it is tender. Though you seek the divine and even know it as love, you also know that it is fierce, wild, inexplicable, and demanding beyond all measure. It wants you completely, utterly, without condition. There will be times in your life such as now when there is something not worthy of you that must be released. This is a falsehood, a lie or deception of some sort that you have come to believe about yourself, your life, or perhaps even another. You may know what that deception is, or it may be about to be unveiled. It is not a cause for fear or concern, but for celebration. An illusion has or soon will be released, and you shall become freer, free in a way that only truth can provide. This oracle comes to you as a sign of that which is to come. And soon, the beloved divine presence is calling to you, igniting within your deepest being so that it may have its way with you. The divine wishes to live through you and into the world, reaching into the hearts of many and igniting those hearts into greater life. It is a clever and insatiable lover. And it will stop at nothing until the entire human race is restored to the wild divine freedom of a static divine reunion, completely and utterly ignited in love. And so the great lover, the divine, calls for you to enter into the white hot field of its passionate presence. There will be sizzle and burn. It cannot be otherwise. In the height of summer, you cast aside the layers of clothing you require in the winter. This is natural. You do not think twice about it. As you approach the radiant sun of divinity, your emotional and psychological layers are to be shed too. For they are too heavy for the heat of the great spiritual sun. What cannot stand the heavenly heat is to be cast aside swiftly by conscious choice or shall simply burn up, dissolving in the light and melting away. What is left shall be what is true. So here is your guidance, sweet lover of the great beloved. Give it up. The smallness, the conditions, the fears and doubts, the lack of reverence for yourself and life, the belief that somehow things are not okay or aren't going to work out. That is all paltry attempt at truth. You are coming into a truth now that is far more worthy of you. A truth with a capital T, the big truth, love, trust, surrender. This is about a sacred shedding without fear or holding back. Cast aside whatever would hold you back rather than free you to fly into your divine destiny. You are not to be the same from this moment on. That is the holy word the word inscribed in living divine fire in your sacred heart. This oracle brings you guidance. Trust in your changing perspective and perceptions. 
Don't hold on to what you once believed or thought to be true. Allow yourself to be shown another version of events, another way of perceiving. Don't focus on what is not working in your current estimation of things, for that is nothing more than a passing opinion. You are being given an opportunity to see and know yourself, others, and particular life circumstances very differently. Embrace it. Don't resist what is being shown to you. For even if there are some struggles in adjusting your view at first, ultimately this change in perception will free you and bring you more deeply into the wellspring of your own inner peace and happiness. A fucking men. (laughs) The truth no matter how hard it is to admit, no matter how hard it is to fucking speak. When you let it out of yourself and let yourself shift once it's been spoken, once it's out, once it becomes your past, legit, legit. You might feel like I feel this morning. Literally, like, on fucking fire. I feel like my soul's been set on fire. And the most beautiful fucking fire there is. I'm not surprised that these cards came out between four different decks. (laughs) For real. You might have serious synchronistic uh, patterns popping up with threes or patterns that add up and break down to threes. Guys, be honest with yourself and your light. Forever, now, and always. Don't ever be afraid. Don't ever be afraid. You are the fucking shit, and you know it. (laughs) You're the fucking shit, and you know it. Your love is the shit. Your authentic being is the shit. Your light's the shit. You're fucking bomb as hell. You're fucking awesome. You're an awesome person. And your love, your compassion, your mercy, your truth is your superpower. Don't you ever forget. Because that white light, that white light that we channel in through our crown that fills our whole fucking being, that is the white hot fire we're talking about. You become that. That spirit, that inextinguishable fire, let your energy open up like the weather just did outside and pour out nurturing and loving and helping everything fucking grow. Let yourself become the lightning in the storm. Fascinate people mesmerize people let yourself be the magic of divine nature fucking shine period everything else your light's gonna melt it away into its core truth ain't that right thank Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Come here. Come on. Yeah, I said it's okay. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. I love you, Peg. Yes, I do. I'm going to go chill with Fig, and I'm going to listen to the rain, and I'm going to make some coffee, and I'm going to enjoy my morning, guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. I will see you all again soon. Take care.